Today I'm going to go more in depth with the Devastator than the demo has and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to a new video. Warning, this video contains spoilers that are not in the Outriders demo. So, if you don't want spoilers, please leave this video now. You have 5 seconds. You have been warned. So, today we are going to deep dive into all of the information on the Devastator that we currently know. I had posted a poll on several Facebook groups and the Devastator received the second most votes out of all of the polls. Previously, I had made an in-depth video for the Pyromancer and the Technomancer. And if you guys would like to check those videos out, and you may do so by clicking on any of the annotations in this video, at the end of the video, and I will put a link to all four in-depth videos in the description box below. For this video though, God, I've been saying video a lot, haven't I? <laughs> I will be going over what we already know about the Devastator, as well as tons of information that is not in the Outriders demo. So let's get started with everything that we know first. The Devastator is a close range damage dealing tank. Unlike the other classes, this class focuses on armor and interrupts, via anomaly power than it does shooting from long ranges. In the demo, we get four assigned Devastator skills. Those skills are Earthquake, Golem, Gravity Leap, and Reflect Bullets. Earthquake, <laughs> I said Earthquake. Earthquake releases a shockwave that deals 109 damage and interrupts all enemies. Golem Summon stone armor around your body and it allows you to take 65% less damage for 8 seconds. Gravity Leap makes you leap into the air to strike your targets from above, dealing 218 damage and interrupting enemies within a small radius in the area that you land in. That is actually important. And the last skill is Reflect Bullets, where you create a barrier that captures all enemy projectiles and accumulates damage. After 10 seconds, all the accumulated damage is reflected back into the enemies directly in front of you, which again is also important. This barrier also protects against melee attacks by reflecting some damage back. In a team, you can actually use this ability to grab aggro from enemies while your teammates actually use their own abilities. Then you can actually release the projectiles to finish off the enemies. Now the Devastator's melee deals bleeding, which does damage over time or dot. The Devastator skills are really simple and down to earth. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's an earth clap. Anyways, moving on. On a real note, the skills for the Devastator are nothing to laugh about. These skills hit and they hit hard. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not doing this on purpose. When it comes to the combos with the Devastator, I like using Earthquake to stop my engagement then Golem to take less damage and immediately use Gravity Leap in order to get close. I also like having a shotgun ready when I am close. A pump action shotgun or an automatic shotgun will do. One thing that I noticed while playing the Devastator is that they have a lot of skills that allow you to activate your abilities quote one more time end quote. Now I know that all of the classes have this but it looks like the Devastator has more than all of the other classes. I don't know, it could just be in my head. One thing that the Devastator is not is squishy. This thing is a wrecking ball. Yeah, that was hot. I'm sorry, there was a Ron Jeremy version of that and I could not bring myself to putting that in this video. Anyway, getting back to the top of that hand. When it comes to your health, the Devastator recovers health from killing enemies that are close to you. So you kind of have no choice but to get up all close and personal. Now, let's get into what the demo doesn't tell us. First off, the Devastator has three fundamentals. Kinetic, Protection, and Seismic. An upgraded Devastator will have the most armor and health buffs of all of the classes. This means that if you want to keep your health and armor as high as it can be, then you need to be in the heart of the fight. You need to see the whites in your enemy's eyes. You need to glimpse into their souls and then take it. Yeah, that was definitely going to a dark place. Ah, memories. Anyway, 
Let's get into the Devastator skills that are not in the demo. Probably one of the most anticipated skills for the Devastator is Impale. This attack does just that. It impales your enemies. When using this ability, you select an enemy to impale, and if the attack is lethal and would kill the enemy, then they have a stone spike coming out of their chest. This will grant your entire squad an armor bonus and health regen for 9 seconds. The next ability is called Endless Mass. Endless Mass is a spinning obelisk which sucks all nearby enemies towards its gravitational center. It's like your own personal black hole without the old black hole aspect. This ability can set up for tons of combos either by yourself or with the team. And it actually looks real fun to use. The passive ability for the Devastator automatically gives you an additional 15% maximum health, a 30% increase to armor, and with every close range kill, you will heal for 24% of your max health. That's amazing. For the class trees that we have on the right, we have Vanquisher, Warden, and Seismic Shifter. The Vanquisher tree is all about close combat. It provides bonuses for shotguns and auto rifles. The Warden is the tankiest tree that the Devastator has. It provides huge bonuses to health, armor, and resistances. Seismic Shifter is your class tree that focuses on damage over time, specifically the bleeding effect, and is best used at mid-ranges. This tree is all about anomaly damage for seismic skills such as Impale. One of your passive abilities on this tree is actually called Endless Tremors, which reduce seismic ability cooldowns by 15 seconds. And these include Earthquake, Impale, and one other ability that has not been mentioned yet. There are mods that come on your gear that can actually change the way abilities work. For example, Spike Forest allows you to impale one additional target, Palisade does two additional targets, and Ultimate Impaler allows you to activate Impale two more times before its cooldown. Bloodshock inflicts bleed to enemies affected by Earthquake, while Earth's Legacy increases Earthquake's range by 60%. Okay, so that is everything that the demo does not tell us. And now that we got all of that out of the way, I actually have an ability for the Devastator that I would actually like to see in a future update. And if you don't know already, I'm actually doing this for all of the classes. So the ability that I made for the Devastator is called Seismic Slam. I had the ability in mind and my producer actually helped with the name. Seismic Slam reads, summon two huge stone tablets. Both tablets slam together, dealing 280 damage and interrupting enemies caught inside a large area. Let's paint a beautiful picture. You can use Endless Mass to bring all of the enemies close. Then Earthquake on the enemies to make them stumble, and you can finish them off with a Seismic Slam and watch it rain pink mist. <sighs> I'm definitely going to hell. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about Seismic Slam, which is the ability that I came up with in the comment section below. Also, if you guys have an ability for a class that you made, let me know what it is and how it works in the comment section. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to join the Everything Outriders Discord. It's a place for the entire Outriders community to make friends, have fun, do some LFG, get tons of info on the game, such as patch notes, data mines, and a look at all of the legendaries in the game so far. And no, I'm not just talking about the demo, I mean the entire game. It's growing every day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be on screen and in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one.